Hi, everybody. Laura here for My Favorite Things. So glad you're joining me today. I have a colorful geometric project to share with you. I'm going to be starting with these wonderful triangle dies. I have fallen in love with these. They're called the Dynamics Triangle Stacks. They come pre-cut on a sheet, like a magnetic sheet. And I can't even tell you how much I love that they come pre-cut pre on a magnetic sheet. It's the little things, I'm telling you. But I'm laying them out here on a panel of white cardstock. I don't really have a plan. I'm just kind of getting a bit of a composition with the various sizes, trying to evenly space them if I can. And then once I get a few adhered down, I'm gonna run it through my big shot. And then I'll take them off. I'm using that uh, removable frog blue tape. Normally I like to use my white post-it tape, but I ran out. And that is a tragedy. So I've been using the frog tape, but I gotta say, I'm missing my post-it tape. I guess I'm just a post-it tape type of gal. But I do wanna try that ThermoWeb purple tape. I see people raving about that, so I wanna give it a try. Um, I die cut a few more triangles in various sizes, just kind of filling in some gaps and here and there. Now I'm gonna take this triangle panel and lay it over top of a white card base. I've created a top folding, standard size white card base and then what I'm gonna do here, and I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, and I am crazy. I'm gonna mask off a few of these larger triangles. The reason I'm masking these off is so that I can ink blend a different color behind each triangle. So I'm masking off this largest one. I don't have to go to all this trouble with all the triangles, just the larger two, because for the rest I will use the triangle stencil, also by my favorite thing. So I'm gonna go in, with some picked raspberry distress ink. I'm using my little distress mini ink cubes, but you could do this with any inks that you have. So first I'm gonna give it a bit of, bit of a gradient ink blend going from dark, fading it up to light. And then now I'm gonna lay over top this beautiful sunrise radiating rays stencil. So what you have here is a double mask. Now this time I went in with candied apple so the base coat is picked raspberry, and then the rays is candied apple. So double masking, two colors. It's very exciting. And each triangle is gonna have its own thing. I'm trying to gonna rotate the angles with the sunrise radiating ray stencil. It's gonna be a lot of movement, a lot of color, and then you get the triangle composition. I mean, what more could you ask for? So yes, I'm going to a lot of trouble masking off these two large triangles. But this is the kind of stuff that I live for. So I lay that die cut panel over top again, just so I know where I need to lay my masking tape, get the right angles and all that jazz. So this time I'm gonna ink blend with squeeze lemonade. One thing you gotta be aware of when you're doing all this masking and ink blending with various colors is to make sure that your surfaces are clean. So I had to make sure and clean my stencil each time. I had to make sure that my blue tape wasn't contaminated so I didn't transfer the ink from the different colors. So I ink blended with Squeeze Lemonade. Now I laid down the Sunrise Radiating Ray stencil. I'm going in with Spice Marmalade. And this is making me giddy as all get out because you can see that I rotated the rays, so now they're going in a different direction. Two-tone color, double the masking, bada boom, bada bing, it's just happy up in here. Now, we don't have to mask off with the blue tape anymore. I'm gonna take this awesome triangle stencil. I don't know if you've seen the examples. When you go on the My Favorite Things um, website and you look at the products, you know how it shows you various examples. The examples for this triangle stencil blow my mind. This is just right up my geometric loving alley. Okay, for this triangle, I did the base coat with Twisted Citron, and then I laid down the Sunrise Radiating Ray stencil and went in with Peacock Feathers. So from here on out, it's gonna start getting easier because you've got the triangle stencil that does all the work for you, and then you just lay over top. Now, the only hard part is choosing the colors. And as you can see, I'm sneaking in a bit of a rainbow like I do, but you could do this and adapt it in a lot of fun ways. You don't have to do different colors for each one. You don't have to do different sizes. 
I also think it might be cool to overlap some triangles. You could customize this concept in a million and one ways. From here on out, it's just repetition. I'm doing the same thing over and over till I fill in all the triangles. So what you got to do at this point is put on some tunes and just have yourself a ball. That's what I do. I like to use Spotify. I have, have you ever heard of Spotify? I have it on my laptop. It's got all my favorite music. And you would, you would be surprised at the assortment of music I have. I love, well, I love music. I'm a music person. I love it all. There's really nothing I don't like except for like extreme heavy metal and maybe really vulgar rap. But other than that, I love it all. And I have it all on there. Like the, the new pop stuff. I've got country. I've got gospel, Christian, classical. And, but right now I got to say I'm on an 80s kick. I'm loving all the stuff. Uh, from the 80s, my kids are rolling their eyes at me, but sometimes I just got to listen to a little Depeche Mode, a little NXS, and UB40. Anyway, moving on to the card, I put a bunch of foam tape on the back of that triangle die cut panel, popped it up, and look at that. Look at her in all her glory. Now we're moving on to the sentiment. I have this yay die. It's from the Dynamics So Many Yays die set. And I'm die cutting several of these, probably about three or four out of white cardstock. And then I'll do one out of white glitter cardstock. I'm going to stack them up with some Tombow Mono liquid adhesive to make it a nice dimensional word die cut. And so this takes no time at all because these are nice, thick letters. So it's easy to use the liquid glue and easily adhere them together. I love this straight up block bold font. It's just really perfect for the geometric um, design that I have on my card. And then to go along with it, I'm going to emboss a coordinating sentiment. And I'm using the Yay For You stamp set. You can see it right there on the left. It has a lot of really fun sentiments that coordinate with the Yay dies. I'm embossing it in white on a strip of black cardstock. I like to do this when I have a lot of color on my card. I like to do a white sentiment that's embossed on a black strip. It really pops. So I'm adhering my yay word die cut. Some of them have to have foam tape behind. Some of them you can just glue them straight on the die cut panel. And then to finish it off, I'll pop up the sentiment strip as well as a few little sparkling clear sequins in different sizes here and there. Some I tuck under the triangles. Some I put on top. So you've got lots of dimension, a little sparkle, lots of color. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.